Hi everyone, my name is Nick Manning. I am a field advisor for Winterlime, and I'm really, really excited about this upcoming trip. You're gonna have the adventure of a lifetime, and I'm here to kind of help you pack, and, and think about packing, and start to figure out what to bring on this great trip. Um, welcome to my home in Colorado. It's beautiful out. So, uh, here is your trusty Winterlime packing list. My co-leader and I, Beth Warsaw, um, went through this after the last trip and put some energy and effort into thinking about what people should bring and what's appropriate for all the different experiences we go through. So please, please, please use this. It's got a lot of good minds that have gone into it and it's really helpful. Considerations while packing. Um, really, really important. The number one thing I want you to take away from this first page is pack small and pack light. Um, you're going to be gone for nine months, but you don't need to bring nine months worth of stuff. <laughs> Please think about, you know, you're going to have a core group of stuff, like your clothes, your shoes, your pack, um, everything else you can kind of bring, but you can buy along the way as well. You know, uh, pharmacies, grocery stores, we'll have access to all that stuff, cities as we travel, so you don't need nine months of everything. Cambodia has great clothes. A lot of our clothes in the U.S. are made in Cambodia, so you can actually get really cheap designer brands in Cambodia. So you learn things when you travel and you're going to be happier. Lighter and smaller is just better. Um, you've got to be able to carry your pack, which is really important. Um, you got to, we got to do airplanes and trains and buses and we walk. Um, so be, remember that everything you bring you have to be able to carry essentially on your back. So if you bring a lot of stuff and it's really heavy, not only are you going to have to pay extra money for airline fees, but you're also going to like have to carry it. So keep that in mind. Your body will love you for bringing less stuff and you'll be happier, right? Simplicity, declutter, yay, let's get zen on this. Um, okay, so you're going to have two packs. You're going to have a day pack and a big pack. I'll get to that in one minute actually. So first page, bare essentials. Passport, really easy. Passport, please make sure you take photos, copies of this page with your photo and your signature. Leave a photocopy or two at home with your parents or a friend, somebody you trust. Um, take two photocopies with you. Leave them in your pack in different places. That way if you lose this, we still have it in some fashion. Um, make sure that the, there is time left on the expiration date. You should have at least like a year or two um, left. We'll say two years. Two years left um, on your expiration date, which is right here. If you're getting it new, don't worry about it. They usually have a lot of years on. So... Bare essentials, pretty obvious, credit, debit card, cash. Don't bring a lot of cash. We can pull out of ATMs, not a big deal. Um, insurance card, immunization, vax card, prescription meds, contact information, mailing addresses. Pretty straightforward, bring those in a small, you know, the ideally you would put these in a small like journal or wallet or something really compact you can throw in your pack and it's all in one place. Um, travel packs, really, really important, okay. Biggest thing, the most important thing is your travel backpack. This is the big thing that carries everything for nine months. Um, this right here, that's a door, is uh, called a top loader. This is what you see generally like backpacking, right? So the reason it's called a top loader is everything loads in the top, right? And these are great. They have, you know, this particular brand, Osprey which I'm partial to because they actually started about seven miles down the road as a small company a lot of years ago. So it's like a homegrown local company. I know they're much bigger now, but still love them. Um, but this, you know, lots of little zippers, pockets, you can stick things in them. They're really cool, um, lightweight. Also, really great suspension system. Um, holds the weight on your hips, fits around your shoulders with comfortable breeze. So when you need to throw this thing on, boom, look at that. Super easy, and run into the bus. Got it, caught the bus. See, it was that easy. So really, really straightforward. Um, top loader backpack, these are great for traveling. This one is a 65 liter pack, which I would say is about what you want. Okay, this is what I travel with. This is a little different. Um, also Osprey, but it's a top loader, or it's, sorry, it's a duffel style bag. Um, this one's great because it has shoulder straps, it works as a backpack, it even has a little bit of a waist belt, but it also tucks into itself, it zips up, and I can make straps disappear, which is really nice for airplane travel. And, check this out, as opposed to the top loader, 
which when I load it, everything goes from the bottom up. So if I need something down here and I've already loaded it, I gotta pull stuff out. This guy opens like this and I can put everything in it. Really easy to find. Throw it on the ground, everything's right there. Okay, moving on. Make sure those are light and small. About, you know, I would say 50 to 80 liters is your ideal size on those. And make sure they have backpack straps, please. If you're gonna get something that has wheels, that rolls, that's awesome. Make sure it also has backpack straps. We wanna be able to walk and run if we need to catch a bus or a train um, with these things. It's really important that you can just kind of pick it up and go. It'll save your life, trust me, trust me. Um, day pack, really easy. This is like your, you know, your school backpack. Really simple. This one is kind of, you know, it's got a big mesh area, don't worry about that. Don't worry about a hydration tube. Simple, this one's 24 liters, carries your stuff. Um, here's another one, again, small. This is great because it can fold up and you can throw it in another pack and it's really easy. Small, lightweight, compact, those are the names of the game. Um, we use these like day packs for going out to partners, for walking around cities, for traveling. We use them on airplanes, on buses, on trains. Um, so yeah, carry, bring something small that can fit all that stuff. Maybe like a laptop, a change of clothes, a water bottle, some snacks. There you go. And stuff sacks. These are awesome. I love being organized. Stuff sacks do it for me. Um, I throw everything into little bags that have, you know, this one has a drawstring, this one has a zipper. I love these. I put my shoes in this one. Um, these are great because what I do personally is I'll put all my pants in one bag and I'll put all my clothes, like shirts in another bag, underwear and socks in another bag, throw them all in my pack, and boom, when I go to open it, I can just pull out the bag I need, right? Really easy to stay organized. Here's a little one that's kind of waterproof. I can throw like my phone, my wallet, I can zip it up, boom, clipped, got it, waterproof and safe. So when I'm on the boat scuba diving, Good to go. Okay, now I'm moving pretty quick. So, small duffel bag. This is great for like laundry or if you buy a lot of gifts for your parents, wink wink. Um, you can travel with it, have an extra bag to kind of do what you need. Toiletries. Good stuff to bring. Remember, we can buy things on the road. Don't worry about bringing nine months of like shampoo and conditioner because you're just gonna go crazy. This is like literally, this little thing is what I have my toiletries in. It's small, it's got a toothbrush, deodorant, contacts, all those things. Really easy and small. Keep it small. Um, if you're going to bring like a curling iron or a straightener, please check in with other people on the trip. Maybe people can share one. Just think of ways of like minimizing excess, right? Okay. Large water bottle, Nalgene. Bring one of these. One liter, right? One liter. We're going to give you a little one with a winter line logo on it. These are really great. So we'll give you one at orientation. Pack towel, lightweight, um, dries really quick, absorbs really quick, and it's really small. It's not like your cotton household towel. Pack towel, outdoor stores have them. Um, watch, oh, headlamp, really nice to have for your outdoor time, but also like in hostels, if you're in a dorm type scenario and people go to bed, you can put on your headlamp and read. How wonderful. Um, watch or travel alarm clock, don't, Rely on your phone. Um, I usually carry a watch, but I don't have it on because it's summertime. Uh, well, phones, like some of our partners, like Outward Bound or Knowles, you can't have your phone, so you need something else to have an alarm clock, like a little travel clock or a watch. Two small carabiners. Um, as far as notebooks, you know, books, that kind of thing, um, bring one or two books. Don't go overkill. Where's my book? Oh. You know, here's a Kindle. Here's a book. Just notice how small it is. Um, we'll end up sharing books. There's also lots of opportunities for um, buying books, English bookstores, hostels, sometimes at book exchanges, that kind of thing. So think small and light and we'll, we'll, we'll find more. Um, money belt, really straightforward if you want one, helpful. Uh, Technology is pretty straightforward. If you have questions about any of this, Beth and I are definitely available to talk to you. Okay. So, packing list for trimester one, most of this is pretty straightforward. I will say, you know, synthetic layers are best. So here's like kind of a 100% polyester kind of texture. Really lightweight, dries fast, absorbs sweat, smells good. Um, lightweight pants, these are kind of, I know it's hard to see on the camera, but these are kind of a techie, lightweight, you know, synthetic. Think synthetic, not always cotton. 
Uh, rain jacket, something lightweight, rain repellent, really good. Awesome, rain jacket is a must. Um, hats, sunglasses, please bring good sun protection. Uh, what else is on here? Socks, wool socks, you know, really great. Um, smart wool, these just are wonderful for hiking and they dry fast. You know, bring also like kind of techier like hiking or running socks. Don't, again, I guess what I'm getting at is stay away from cotton primarily. Um, it'll save your life in a backcountry type scenario because it wicks water away and often what causes coldness is water. So what else do I have here? Here's a pair of gloves, you know, nice fleece gloves. Here's a beanie, keep my head warm, right? I'm warm already, wow. And a bandana, these are really nice uh, just for general things for the ladies. They call it a P-Rag, kind of nice. Um, when you're in the backcountry, obviously not in the cities. But it's also nice for gentlemen, if it's hot out, you can get it wet and put it around. You can look like a cowboy. You can walk into Lander, Wyoming and hit on the cows. I don't know. But bandanas are nice for cleaning up for different things. What else? Ooh, super small. This is my rain jacket. It literally fits in the palm of my hand. Small, compact. What else? How about... Shoes, boots. Here's a pretty heavy duty pair of mountaineering boots. These are fine, they're pretty rugged. Here's a smaller lightweight pair. These are great too, either one, whatever you're into. I will say, please break in your boots before you get to Wyoming with us, which is in September. Um, your feet will be happy, you know, buy a pair in the next month, try them on, go for a hike, walk around the neighborhood, whatever. Just break them in so that your feet feel comfortable. Um, here's a, I travel with running shoes because I love running. Um, these are lightweight. They're kind of like a, you know, real thin. They're a thick sole, but they're a thin top, so they pack really light. You know, I'm always thinking about size and weight. Again, these are my dress shoes, size and weight, right? These are like barefoot dress shoes, right? They're super small. They pack. Boom. And I look nice some days. And what else? Sandals. These are Chacos. Um, bring a pair of water shoes that actually stay on your feet and a pair of flip-flops so that you can, you know, run around in the water but also chill. Flip-flops tend to come off. So, that's kind of all I've got for you right now. Um, I know you're going to have questions. Your parents might have questions. Please email us or call us or whatever. Get a hold of us. Uh, my email is nick at winterline.com. Beth's email is beth at winterline.com. Susie is susie at winterline.com. You're catching the, the drift. Um, we're happy to help you with packing and we'd love to answer any questions and hopefully this helps a little bit and I'm so excited I can't wait to see you all and travel around the world so awesome okay bye <laughs>